Hey, hey, everyone. Welcome to Thursday Talks. We love to come on Thursdays and chat with you, tell you what's new, give you tips, or just have a chat. So if there's anything you would like to hear about from us, let us know, and we can be sure to include that in a future episode. But tonight, we are talking about our mask. It is March maskness. So I'm going to tell you the benefits of our masks, why to use them, how to use them, how to get them for free. So if you have questions or comments about the mask, if you love your mask, anything, please comment below because um, your engagement is appreciated. We're all part of this community together. So it's good to hear from all of you, okay? So um, the masks are on sale this month. They are each $3 off and we have um, two of them. We have the facial mask, otherwise known as the facelift in a bottle. Who loves this one? It's one of our top selling masks. So great result. It tightens, it firms, um, helps you look younger. It gives you a 48 hour facelift. I'll share more in a little bit. And then our clarifying clay mask, this is great for, it's a refining mask, so it's great for oily skin and blemishes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply each one on half of my face. So you can see how I apply it, so you can learn more about it. So definitely post your questions below, add your comments if you use and love these products as well. Um, if you have someone that you think would love this product, let your consultant know. Let us know and we can get them a sample to try. We love to sample people and get these products on their skin because once you have the product on your skin, that's when you fall in love with it. And it's natural, affordable, because it lasts so long, right? I mean, this bottle lasts, anyone know? <laughs> I haven't kept track in a long time, but well over six months, probably closer to a year for me. Depends on how often you're using it. But if you really want that, I haven't been real faithful lately, I'll be honest with you. But if you really want that firm skin for this one, twice a week is the recommendation. <clears throat> so before I get too far into it, let me go ahead and apply it um, to half of my face. So I'm going to have to take my glasses off for a few minutes. I won't be able to see the screen. <laughs> That's what happens when, you know, you get over some of those hills. But um, we do have this facial mask brush, which I love. It has a brush side and a silicone side, and you get this free with either mask. Or if you buy both masks, you get two of them. So for each mask that you purchase, you get a facial mask brush free. And this brush is valued at $8. So that's a good deal. All right, so I actually have the old bottle of masks. It's, they're the same quantity. But the newer one is taller and thinner. Maybe some of you still have the older one. As you can see, I'm starting to get low. Um, but I do have this backup bottle and I'm actually going to order another one to have on hand. So um, but I'm going to go ahead and this is this is how I apply it. Maybe you do it different. Tell me below if you do it different. My face has been washed. That's why you see me here without any makeup on. Um, and I just go ahead and I apply it in the palm of my hand about the size of a quarter. I might need a little more, we'll see. And I like to use the brush side for this. I'm going to paint it on, um, let me see which side, I'll do this side. And this is really hard because it's not quite like putting it on in a mirror. I'm gonna do half. I can do the eye area, I just don't do right on top of your eye. Hard to look at the screen and do this because then I feel like I'm doing it backwards. Um, and then you can also do like your neck. I'm not going to do it now because I'm not at my sink, but do this neck area. Um, a little more for my brow bone. I like to get the brow bone because it helps lift that that saggy eye up there, but you don't want to put it right directly on your eyes. So you always want to work in an upward, upward motion. 
So I'm probably going to start talking a little funny as it tightens. How many of you have tried this? And as it tightens, it feels funny. I'm not going to look in the screen because it's kind of throwing me off. <laughs> all right, so I think I got it all. So now this half of my face is going to start to tighten and firm up. Um, you can leave it on for at least 10 minutes. I often do more. I just really want you know, to really be effective and the long, I feel like the longer I have it on, the more effective it is. You could do 20 minutes, 30 minutes. I've even like gotten busy and kept it on an hour. It doesn't hurt anything, but um, you don't have to do it that long. Now, if your skin is dry, normal to dry, this is a good mask for you. You don't want to use the other mask. It would be too drying for you. Um, but this is good for all skin types. However, if you're dry or very dry, a tip for you is to apply your moisture lotion first and then apply your facial mask over the top of it. Because for those that are very dry, it, it sort of feels funny when you put the mask on. I, I can't explain how it feels because my skin is more to the oily side, but I just know that the moisturizer helps it to not feel like irritated or itchy or anything. So put your moisturizer on first and then you let it dry and then put your mask over the top. So it's starting to tighten, I think. I am going to, let me just read to you some of the facts, I'm trying to dry it around my eyes so I can put my glasses back on. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh at me, it's fine. Yeah, it's still wet and tacky. So anyways, maybe I'll do the um, maybe I'll do the clay mask side and then I'll read to you about all the features. So the clay mask, I love this one. Like I said, my skin is more to the oily side and whether your whole face is oily or you just have oil in the T-zone, if that's the case, just use it in your T-zone a um, couple times a week, two to three times a week. It also refines your pores. It shrinks down uh, pimples overnight. It's really great for like, acne prone blemished skin you definitely want to be doing this full face like three times a week if you're acne prone i love it for certain times of the month when i get more oily or i might have a few more breakouts it it just works so quickly when you spot treat overnight with it and it helps with enlarged pores so definitely another thing you want to be using consistently that sounds like a theme with labri right consistency is always important because our products Heal from the inside out. Many products just sit on the top of your skin, but the Bry products, you can see it's starting to lift and I'm starting to talk funny. So I hope you're getting a good laugh tonight. I'm going to try not to smile or laugh because that's going to crack it. Um, Labry products, remember they're hydrophilic, which means water loving. Oh, that's the aloe in there. It's a succulent. It just pulls everything deep into that second layer of your skin to heal it and, and work from the inside out and push out any toxins or impurities. Where many products, they just sit on the top of your skin, like products that have mineral oil in it that might feel nice while you're applying it, but it's not really getting below the surface to do its healing. So, um, I forgot where I was going with that, but Labri products heal from the inside out. So consistency, the more you use it, it's going to keep healing and bringing up whatever is below the surface. And it really just attacks the wrinkles and all of the, the troubled concerns beneath the surface of the skin. So just like, you know, with a diet or diet pills or shakes, you know, you, it's, it's not a miracle cure overnight. With Labri, it's consistency. Every 30 days, your skin renews itself. So every 30 days, you're going to notice more and more improvement. And even with the mask, you know, if you're one of those that is maybe using it once or twice a month, you're going to get better results if you're more consistent with it. So consistency is always key with our products. If you want healthier, happier skin, use your products consistently the way they were designed to be used. All right, so for the clay mask, I'm going to use, oops, I forgot I have some regular mask on the brush side yet, so it's a little sticky. I usually just rinse that off under water, or you could even um, use our hand soap or body wash to give it a good wash after you've applied. So then we have the silicone side. I like to use that side for the facial peel. 
you know, the orange facial peel to exfoliate. It works great just to, to slather that on. Um, and I'm going to try using it today with the clay mask. So you see that coming out? Um, as you can see, there, there's clay in here. Um, this should be interesting trying to do this without, I should have brought a mirror then I could probably apply it better. I'm going to try and do it without looking in the camera because it confuses me. I'll just go by feel. Not working out so good here. Hope you guys are all getting a good laugh. <laughs> Try this at home sometime. So again, you don't want to put it right on your eye, um, but around your eye. And I think I need a little more. Actually, there's some on there from my forehead. That's where I get the most oil. See how, and I can't really tell without my glasses. So you want it to be somewhat white in appearance. I feel like it could probably be thicker up here, like it is down here. Um, but that's the clay in there. And then as that dries, it, it, the whiteness kind of fades down a little bit. But can you see how my face is lifting? How many of you have tried this? You look at my mouth and can you see it with my eyebrows yet? I don't know if the lighting is very good, but look at how this side of the face is lifting up. So who's used the clay mask? Who has blemishes or someone in their life? Um, you know, teenagers, kids, grandkids, your friends' kids who are blemished and could really use products that will heal their skin without all the chemicals and toxins and irritation. You could be that person that turns them on to Labry um, so that they can get that healed skin naturally and just feel more confident. And when you go through life feeling more confident, it makes a big difference. So that's why we always say uh, with Labry, we're changing lives one face at a time. So this one as well, you would leave on, you know, for 10, 15 minutes. If you're really excessively oily, you can even like, like I said, sometimes you get really oily in my forehead. You can put it on and go to bed with it on overnight. That, you know, let it dry a little bit, of course. And, um, or like I said, spot treat any pimples overnight and it really shrinks them down quickly. Has anyone used the facial mask or the clay mask for other things besides blemishes. All right, I think I'm dry enough to put my glasses on. <laughs> oh. There we go, now I can see you guys. Okay, so the facial mask. It's our non-surgical facelift in a bottle. It helps to tone, tighten, and refine the appearance of large pores. Now that I have my glasses on, I see what a bad job I did. Um, it's going to help your skin look more firm, more smooth, and more lifted. Who has seen the testimonial of my mom? My mom, she's 84 now, but I think she might have been 80 in that picture where I did half of her face. And you can literally see, it's all washed off and done. You can literally see how that side of her face is more lifted, more smooth. I'll post a picture in the comments later too, so you can see it if you haven't seen it yet. So it really works well. It's excellent as an overnight spot treatment for blemishes or clogged pores. So if you are more normal to dry and you don't have this clarifying clay mask and you get that blemish from stress or too much chocolate or whatever it might be, you can use this to spot treat pimples overnight too. Comment below if you, you've used this on other things and I'll share some things that I've heard it used on in just a moment. Um, so after you wash your face, you can apply with fingertips or the mask brush. And like I showed you, I just pour it right into my hand. Some people pour it right onto the mask brush, but I think it's a little tricky. Um, but I like to use my hand. You could even use a little dish if you didn't want to use your hand. And that's how you apply it. Always in an upward motion, 
on your neck and your face because you want to work against the pull of gravity. Avoid that delicate eye area. And it says avoid upper lip area if you're more sensitive. I, um, look at how it's lifting. I have some lines here, like some smile lines. So I like to put it on my upper lip and I've never had any issues with it. Allow it to dry for 10 to 15 minutes and then rinse it with lukewarm water and pat dry and follow with your, your normal skincare routine. Um, you could also do this before you get in the shower and then just hop in the shower and wash it off easily. I like to use our, I was gonna bring it along, but I forgot, our um, facial cleansing sponge to wash, to wash off my cleansers, to wash off my mask. Here are these yellow sponges. You can order them in the accessory section or you can get it with each order, you can get um, a free sample if you're ordering over $75, you can choose one of those cleansing sponges for that as well. So again, if your skin is dry, put on a thin layer of moisturizer first, allow it to penetrate and dry, and then apply your facial mask. Um, and then if you have blemishes, just dab a small amount on the blemish after you've washed your face and used your clear away and then leave it on overnight. So some key ingredients, aloe, right? Aloe is always the main ingredient in our products. So we have aloe in there. And then we have a tightening agent that helps lift and improve the appearance of skin's firmness. That's what, that's what gives it the lift. Well, I really look lopsided, don't I? I might have to go do this other side, <laughs> wash the clay mask off and do it. It has bladder rack extract. So bladder rack is a seaweed. Remember, we have plants and fruits, botanicals um, in our ingredients. So it's a sea plant rich in vitamin B with some antioxidant properties. Vitamin B is always very beneficial for the skin. In fact, we have skin, hair, and nail supplements that have all of the B complexes in them to help you uh, further improve your skin. Uh, maybe if you're just not quite there or you wanna um, help your skin and your nails and hair grow more quickly and more healthy, it's a great vitamin that you can take uh, to a day. So you can look for that too. And it helps with, um, that bladder rag helps with improving skin tone. And then there's geranium oil, which has anti-irritant and, and, and astringent properties particularly beneficial for oily and acne prone skin. So again, this one is for all skin types, but it also really helps with the oil, oil and acne. But if you are oily and acne and you're gonna choose one, I would choose the clarifying clay mask. So um, the clarifying clay mask, let me tell you about that one. And I'm almost, about, I definitely am getting at least two bottles of this. This will help nourish and purify troubled skin. The deep cleansing mask assists in reducing the appearance of enlarged pores. Do you struggle with enlarged pores? Even if let's say they're just on your nose, you could apply this just to your nose on a more regular basis while helping regulate sebum to control oily skin. Formulated to facilitate an even refined appearance and smoother texture for troubled skin. Um, it helps to reduce the appearance of enlarged pores, helps control the oil, and helps to reduce redness on the skin's surface. Again, don't use this one if your skin is more dry. It's more for oily skin types. So apply it three to four times weekly to clean dry skin over your entire face or targeted areas, like I said, the forehead or the nose, and leave on your skin for 15 to 60 minutes, so 15 minutes to an hour, depending on the degree of your oiliness. Rinse with lukewarm water. Again, I like to use that facial cleansing sponge and then pat dry and follow with your skincare, your Lebri skincare routine. Again, you can use this one overnight to spot treat. It works really well. Has anyone tried it on, on a pimple before? And note that it's not unusual for a slight stinging sensation and mild redness to occur as the skin acclimates to the clay-based product. So sometimes our skin needs to adjust to new products. It will subside after a few minutes, so no worries. Um, so the key ingredients, of course, what's the first one, right? Right here on the bottle, aloe vera barbadensis. Um, 
kaolin, which is a pure white clay that absorbs oil, helps present, prevent pore clogging by drawing out impurities from the pores. Benonite, which is a powerful clay, which helps absorb oils from the skin surface and may have a calming effect on inflamed acne or blemish breakouts. And then willow bark extract, how many of you have heard of that one? Is a natural salicylic acid that helps to reduce redness, inflammation, and unblocked pores. So the other products that you can use for blemish skin that will be helpful, talk to your consultant about making sure you're right in the right trio or if you're not using the products yet to help you get in the right trio for blemish skin. But clear away, who uses the clear away? That is an awesome um, acne treatment. Actually, you should be using it to prevent and to treat. So if you typically get blemishes, say here, you wanna use it there twice a day to prevent those blemishes from forming. Or once you have them, you know, definitely use them there as well. One tip with the clear away is not to use it, not to put your moisturizer over the top of it. So let's say you do put it here, then you just leave it on full strength there and don't put your aloe jelly or your moisturizer over the top. So clear away should always be um, applied as your last step, whether you're spot treating or doing your entire face with it. Um, and you're not putting your moisturizer over the top. You just really want that on there full strength. And speaking of uh, preventing more blemishes, I'm trying to find it here in the catalog for you. When you pick at your blemishes, you break them open under the skin and that causes the bacteria to spread, which causes more blemishes to pop out. And I know it can be tempting, better off using one of these masks to, um, to spot treat it overnight and reduce that blemish quickly than to pick at it because you're just going to spread it. So if you struggle with it, I don't know, sit on your hands, get your mask out, just do something to prevent yourself from, from picking. So here it is. It's a little bottle, lasts a long time, of course. Um, so if you do struggle with regular blemishes, even if there's just a few in a certain area, you definitely want to check out that, that clear away. So can you see how lifted and then the clay, the clay side is, um, you know, it doesn't lift, but it's really refining and nourishing my skin. So maybe what I'll do afterwards, after I wash this off, is take a picture and post that in the comments below as well. But if you have any questions, definitely ask them below, tag me, tag your consultant, or better yet, reach out to your consultant, although we'd, we all benefit from any questions that you do ask, because if you have it, likely someone else has the same question. So take advantage of the mask this month. Save $3 on either one or both. Get your free mask brush valued at $8. So you're saving $11 when you, when you purchase one, or if you purchase them both, you'll get two mask brushes. You can also get them free, right? Who knows how you can get them free? <laughs> It's a great time to think about getting some friends together. It's been it's been a long two years with the pandemic, and I feel like things are starting to open up. People are getting out more. The mask mandates are being lifted. Spring is in the air. The sun is shining. Soon the flowers are going to be blooming. It's a great time to get together with some friends, and you can have whatever your personality. You can have a, a kitchen full of friends or, you know, you can have two or three friends there. We like to call that you plus two. So you and two friends get together for some facials. Your consultant will come and pamper you and treat you. You get to try on the products. They'll get to try on the products if they've never tried them. If you already use and love them, you'll probably learn something new. You'll get to try, maybe try some products you haven't tried yet. So it's a fun, let us come entertain you. It's a fun time together, pampering. And in the meantime, you get to accumulate host rewards. So our lowest level is $100. It goes on up to $400. And even beyond, if any of your friends decide to book a party from you and have their own event, you get an additional $75 after their qualified show closes. So, and then you get the whatever the monthly gift is. This month, it's the fade away cream that you're going to hear about next week. Fade away. Fade scars 
um, fade stretch marks, fade uh, sunspots and dark spots. So come here about that or get your party on the calendar and you'll learn more about the faded white cream. It's amazing and it really does work well to lighten um, those issues that I talked about. So yeah, having a get together is a great way to get your products free. You even get to choose half off items. So maybe you wanna choose it half off and use, use the, the credit on something else if you wish. Um, so if you don't wanna have a get together, you can simply ask for a shopping link and share that with your friends and family who already love it. Maybe they need to restock or they want the mask on sale. Or um, if they've never tried Labri before, your consultant can help you get samples to them so they can experience it. And then when they purchase with your shopping link, you get the credit for it. So that's an easy way, uh, but it's definitely more fun for you and your guests to get together in person and have some pamper time and experience the products that way. So it's March maskness. Get your masks these months. Get stocked up this month. Um, so you have it for all year long or for gifts. Like I said, this is one of our top selling products, this one. And the facial peel are definitely um, like in the top three. So any questions, reach out. I am going to go and wash this off and probably do the other side. Hopefully it's not too drying. It's a good thing my skin is a little more oily because you, you typically don't want to use two products or three like your facial peel or your face and body exfoliator scrub. You don't want to use two products on the same day when you're exfoliating. And I would consider these um, in the exfoliation category. So, all right, I hope you enjoyed that Thursday talk. Oh, one more thing before I go, mark your calendar. March 15th, we're playing bingo. So we took a poll and you all voted. Number one choice was to play bingo, win some prizes. I don't blame you for picking that one. Number two choice was um, common skin challenges or concerns. So we're gonna combine the two. We're gonna play bingo and tell you, I mean, those will be our bingo words. Let's say acne, eczema, psoriasis, milia, um, sensitive skin. Come take a listen, rosacea. So that's the 15th. You can choose your bingo numbers. You can win some prizes and learn more about common skin challenges. And maybe you'll learn something for yourself or someone else that you know and love. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Have a great evening. And I appreciate you being here.